Does that look like what's up on the board? Okay, so what is the first thing that we're trying to create here? A segment. A segment. Okay, well, yes, we're going to create a segment of AB, but what does it say in bold above that? A bisector. A segment bisector. What do you think we mean by a segment bisector? A segment, a segment two sector. Okay, so where are you getting two from? Bi. Bi. So we want to pay attention to this. Nothing in geometry is randomly named. It actually is 100% named that for a reason. So we're going to look about something in two pieces, okay? So create a segment AB. You see right here where it says segment? Hopefully. Click on it. It doesn't matter where you put it. Just click. It makes A, drag it, and it makes B. Okay? So click on segment, then click. Yep, makes A. Move it around, and there's your B. Doesn't have to be the same as mine. It could have been very different, right? I could have done it like this. There's my AB, right? I just need a segment AB on there. We all good with that? Oh, ready to move? Okay. okay. Listen, I right. tell me. I believe it. Terrence, sit up. No, sit up. Then tell me. I'll take care of it, Terrence. Terrence. Your feet are all the way where Brooke's feet should be and into Ireland's space. Sit up. Terrence, <laughs> sit up and leave. Thank you, sir. So, it tells us exactly what to do next. It says to click more, and what are we going to find under more? No, it says it on the sheet, bud. Matthew, under more, where are we supposed to be looking? Midpoint. Midpoint, thank you. So I'm going to scroll down. Did I miss it? Okay. Oh, wow. it's on the oh, the third one. Thank more? You. There it is. So under construct, it says midpoint. What do you think I'm now going to do? Put it, put it in the middle. Where am I going to put it? In the middle. Okay, you say in the middle, because what do we mean by midpoint? Middle. It's a point uh, in the middle. middle. A midpoint is literally just a point in the middle. However, listen to me clearly on this. It doesn't matter where you click on your segment. Once you click midpoint, you just have to click on the segment, and it automatically puts it in the middle for you. Notice I clicked way over here, and it gave me a midpoint at C right there. So click on the midpoint op option, and it'll make a midpoint for you. So then it says, prove it. How do we prove that that is in fact the midpoint? How do we know it went to the middle? Say, okay, say it again, Rose. It's even on both sides. So the length on either side should be the same. Wait, so we cut it into how many pieces? Two pieces that are the same Length. length, hopefully. Let's check that, okay? So it tells us how to measure length. Under more, where am I going to look to be able to measure length? Pro, no. no. Uh, There's an option for it. Is it distance measure? or length? Do you see measure? Measure distance. And it says distance or length? Mm -hmm. When you click on that, it's going to give you exactly what to do, it but it tells you to select two points. It said 11 points. So how far is it for me from B to C? How far is it from B to C? Actually, let me make that bigger so you can see it. Mine's is 20. Hold on. Yeah, you might have different stuff, but let me change this. Let's make that. Can y'all see that more easily? Is that easier to see now? Mine's is 20. So B, C is equal to 7.8? All right. So then let's check. So what should be the length from C to A? 7.8 7 .8 as well. And whatever it is for you, it should be the same. Hey, 7.8. So do we have a segment bisector? What do you think we mean by that? Okay, but what made, what bisected the segment? The midpoint. The midpoint, right? So in general, 
it's a point, okay, where a segment bisector cuts a segment into two equal pieces. Make that note to yourself, all right? Under segment bisector, you should write a segment bisector cuts the segment into two equal pieces. A segment bisector will cut into two equal pieces. Bless you. And an important thing to notice is bi means two, sect means to cut. So it cuts it into two. It's the whole idea of this bisector. So under the segment bisector, all I was saying is you should write on this, you could write on that sheet. It's okay. But that's something I would have done is I would have written it on your GeoGebra construction sheet. Yes. Say again. So what is a midpoint always going to be? The middle. The middle, so it's going to be a... It's going to be a 